Hello and welcome back to another episode of White Album 2. We are playing through the closing chapter on Chiaki's Root. Although it feels weird calling it Chiaki's Root at this point because we haven't seen her in over two weeks. I couldn't contact Chiaki today either. I don't know what the future has in store for me, whether it be one where I manage to meet her again, or one where a new me, unhindered by her absence, is born. Perhaps I'm at the point where I have to think about such possibilities. Then, when the time comes, where would I place Setsuna in my heart? あ、ケイワイ開発さん。ユリネガオカ3丁目の物件ね。人体情報誌に載ってたやつ。as for Setsuna, she'll send me two to three texts a day, and the texts she sends don't feel like we're very distant, but they don't suggest that we're very close either. They're that awkward small talk that I hate. The context of her texts is also unchanged, never talking about how estranged or intimate we are, and using polite language inconsistently. That's why it can relay the message of how unstable Setsuna is feeling right now. I must resolve this as soon as I can. If I let this drag out again, the same thing will happen again as three years ago. To expect anyone much less myself, to forgive me after finding such a wonderful girl to me for so many years is... <sighs> to expect to be forgiven is... Nail. Enough. I'm too tired to be thinking about this. Since I'm not planning on going out tomorrow, I might as well just sleep without taking a shower. That's very unlike Haruki. Wrapping myself with the blanket that once had Chiaki's scent. Nikemme Ooh, I get the feeling Takeya figured out who the girl was. Before my consciousness fades away, at that final moment, I can hear the voice of my best friend. His tone was so uneasy, and the content was somewhat unexpected. It felt very unlike the friend I've known for years. What are you saying, Takeya? I'm fine now. I've already received enough protection from you and another one of my closest friends. That's not possible. I'm the one who caused Setsuna all her pain. No one else is involved in it. What exactly do you want me to realize? On that last day when the three of us could truly be together? Oh boy, the drama. I'm sorry, Takeya. 
I don't want to do anything for anyone right now. I couldn't open my eyes once I shut them. After working multiple part-time jobs at once after so long, it leaves my mind and body feeling very exhausted. I'm sorry, Takea. I'll do what you asked me to after I wake up tomorrow. So please, spare me for today. <laughs> what was that about Chiaki? <laughs> Jeez. What does she have to do with the high school festival three years ago? ゲンサク、砂漠ら岬。演出、福島浩二。脚本、主演。ああ、瀬野千秋。ここで演劇部からのコメントを紹介します。今回の作品は北陸地方に伝わる鬼の土着的民間伝承と。and the pieces are falling into place. Why she knows so much about that? Utskuski四姉妹を各章ごと一人ずつ主人公に据えた全四章からなる壮大な物語をお楽しみください。なお主人公は四姉妹と紹介しましたが、実は四人ともすべて。ここからは本編で確かめてください。では、演劇部の皆さん、よろしくお願いします。Three years ago, the first performance on stage during the Hojo High School Festival was the stage play by our well-renowned theater club which regularly participated in national competitions. When the stage play started, we were in the music room, we used as a waiting room changing our clothes, and I was astonished by Setsna and Kazusa's beautiful figures. That's why this recording will be my first time watching the performances that were staged that morning. The stage is decorated in a way that resembles a Japanese-style room of an old-fashioned household. There was a long-haired lady sitting next to the futon, speaking to someone who appeared to be asleep there. But there wasn't an actor under the blanket. The girl kept talking to herself as the story progressed. Ah, well, I finally understand it. This is a one-man show. Her acting in lines alone convinced the audience that the boy in front of her is her younger cousin, whom she had spoiled as if he were her younger brother ever since they were kids. This is something that even an amateur at stage play like myself can easily understand and enjoy watching. <laughs> And then, as the number of character appearances increase, it doesn't change the fact that the story is still easy to understand. The boyish second daughter with a sharp tongue of speaking, the third daughter who's very quiet and doesn't show any emotion, and the fourth daughter who is kind-hearted and is loved by everyone else. Even though the sisters never appeared on stage, her acting made it very easy to imagine those characters as if they were there. I'm sure the spectacle that everyone in the audience is imagining is four sisters and the cousin sitting around the dining table. <laughs> Compared to the average theater club member, this person's acting is clearly on a completely different level. The performance is so amazing that I can understand why our high school theater club is of a national worthy class. From the first three minutes alone. But, telling me to watch this now? What exactly is Takea trying to tell me? 
Could it be that a certain member that appears later in the play has something to do with what he wanted to show me? After that, the first part of the story began with a protagonist named Chizuru, and her performance captured the heart of its intended audience even through the video camera. The uncle's death, the police who are desperate to find the truth, the events that happened in their town, an indiscriminate murder, as well as those who got involved in it. And the element of romance in the story gradually increases as the unexpected murderer is revealed, along with the surprising twist of the girl's true identity. The girl prepares to finally confess the warm feeling she has towards the young man who was her cousin. And with it, she unleashes the power of the demonic bloodline slumbering, slumbering within her, awakening her murderous impulses and having her bloodlust laid bare to the one she loves. <laughs> starting to get goosebumps, and this is supposed to be a stage play from three years ago. The curtain fell for the first act. The play has already won the cheers of the entire audience in merely 15 minutes, not to mention it's a one-man show. It's only natural. Even I, who doesn't have any interest in stage play in general, got so excited that I started sweating. To be honest, being on the same stage on the same day as this, our three-man show only did something embarrassing compared to it. The only way to describe this stage play was that it was perfect. However... Big however, how does he not realize yet who it was? I still haven't solved the mystery yet. Haruki's usually sharper with these kinds of things. What Takia tried to tell me wasn't in that 15 minutes of content. The second act began. Are you kidding me? You can't understand? You can't hear her voice? The main character changed for the second act, and a brazen girl in words and mannerisms wearing a short-cut sailor uniform appeared on the stage. In other words, she's the second daughter among the four sisters, who played a supporting role in the first act. It's another one-man show, much like the first act. Though this time, the responsible elder sister had disappeared from the stage. It's a case about how the main heroine's underclassman disappears mysteriously. This is a suspense story describing how the younger cousin had a quarrel with someone, and though his dreams arrived at the culprit's whereabouts, through his dreams. This is by no means inferior to the first act, I'm sure the audience from three years ago were sweating from excitement, just like I am now. Is it because I've been paying too much attention to the screen? Something feels off. There seems to be an uncanny similarity to the first act of the play. With that being said, it doesn't mean that there's a flaw in the play. It's actually the opposite. <laughs> Is this the same person as the first one? <laughs> their tone, their way of speech, their personality is completely different between the two heroines. But without a doubt, they're played by the same person. It's probably because the camera is taking long shots. That's why I didn't notice it. But I doubt the reason is that simple. 
It should be due to the fact that the characters were played perfectly. This level of acting can be considered almost demonic. The mature eldest daughter and the serious second daughter, their tone, their talking speed, as well as their movements are completely different. But if you play closer attention, you can still see that the quality of her voice, her body's build, and her height are the same. And there's one more thing. There's the question of whether there could be more than one actress of such skill in a mere high school club. I feel goosebumps again. This time, it's not only because of her acting, but it's also because I can almost feel a chill run across my back. Come on, Haruki. Come on. After that, the curtain fell on the second act. The cheers were even louder than the previous time. Amidst that resounding applause, the voices of those who came to the same conclusion as I did may have been mixed in as well. And my doubt continues to grow deeper. At this rate, that suspicion is no longer just a suspicion. After that, the third act begins. The third heroine appeared on stage, but she's wearing foreign clothing, speaking unfamiliar words, astonishing the crowd yet again. It's a one-man show, and she's speaking some unknown language. Yet somehow, she's able to express even this part of the story to the audience clearly. Of course, the sound effects, as well as her clothing, definitely play a part in that. What's more is the way she moves her hands and feet helped relay the majority of the story. And of course, it's still the same actress. In the third act, the story is at its climax, and the audience is getting tensed up over it as well. The stage traveled back into the past, back to the age where the tale of the demon was born. The wandering swordsman, who volunteers to slay the demon, met with a foreign girl near a river. A few days after their meeting, they faced each other on the battlefield as enemies. The battle ended, and the man, heavily wounded, is on the brink of death. The man was able to live on with the help of the girl. The power of the demon kept him alive. As for the price, the girl was exiled from her tribe. Why didn't I realize this before? No. Why did I realize this now? Oh, Haruki, I'm so sorry. Oh, here we go. Now he's going to put all those pieces in a place. This story is created based on folk tales originating from the northern area. The third act was over. The audience welcomes the end with another array of fervent cheer. During the second half, the time on stage returned to the present, and the demon girl was reincarnated into the third daughter. But the current me doesn't have the luxury to think about the story or her acting. I can only stare at the small figure of the heroine on the screen. Ah, ding ding. I could do nothing but continue to stare a hole into the schoolmate from my high school days.
私お兄ちゃんといるとすごく楽しいんだだから本当はずっとこのうちにいてくれたらいいなそう思う The fourth act. The main heroine is the kind hearted youngest daughter. The person playing her is still the same actress. One hour long. A great story consisting of four acts, yet there's only one person acting. It's a performance that's extremely twisted, arrogant, and one that's done to absolute perfection. It's not because the other club members are being lazy, it's more like she's too perfect at this. For example, during her act for the youngest daughter, the room and the pond's size seem slightly bigger than before. All that to make the youngest heroine seem more natural. The way they set the stage is also part of the reason why the play is so interesting. As for the other club members, I'm sure they had to put in a lot of effort to produce this. It's just that, with the one person who has extraordinary talent out there, it might be quite hard for the audience to notice these small details. Just like a certain genius pianist. <laughs> And I, Tarela Haruki. <laughs> After cooling my head off and thinking back now, those mysterious puzzle pieces are slowly coming together. I don't know what to do at this point. Izumi Chiaki. This name wasn't among the students in my grade. But. but. Original story by Sawakura Misaki, directed by Fukushimi, Fukushima Koji, scripted by and starring Seno Chiaki. Scripted by and starring Seno Chiaki. Seno Chiaki. I remember that name, at least. Whenever they announced the results of the periodic exams, her name always appeared in the bottom ten. Takea's classmate in class G. There's a very long applause from the audience. I mean, I'm not surprised she puts all of her efforts into acting. Her, she can't keep her grades up. It's even louder and longer than the cheers after our performance. It's just like the cheers Setsuna and Kazusa received. What exactly is this, Takea? What are you trying to tell me? I can't understand anymore, you know? Even my body can't stop shaking now. Yikes. He did tell you to call right after, no matter what time it was. <laughs> あ、お前には <laughs> Using all of your connections, huh? I still can't really understand what Takea is trying to tell me. 
yeah, like, it's suspicious at this point, but there's nothing that's blatantly like, she's crazy and evil, you know what I mean? That's where it starts, yes. I still can't wrap my head around the reality of Takaya's recollecting and complaining about Chiaki as if he were actually familiar with her. お前たちじゃない。説の茶。どうも。お前と説の茶の関係もある程度。なんで。3年前俺が喋ったからだよ。向こうがお前のことをしつこく聞いてきたから。え。あの女、なんていうかえっと。学園祭の時からお前らのファ
Take has been telling me some very ambiguous things, starting with the voicemail he left me last night. Take has told me that he knows about Chiaki, and he knew about her since we were still in high school? In other words, we've been in the same school for the past six years. Back then, Chiaki's family name was Seno. She was the club president of our theater club, which was at national competition level. During the school festival three years ago, she played all four sisters in the play perfectly. As expected, I still don't know what he's trying to say. What exactly am I supposed to do? Yeah, I kind of wish Take would lay it out a little more bluntly. <laughs> well, before we do find out, we'll stop there for today. Thank you so much for joining me on this chapter of Chiaki's Root, and I'll be back with more shortly. Until then, I hope you take care. See you!